Hey good looking, welcome back to the channel. Today I thought we'd sit down and talk about something that I'm sure you've heard about, but I don't know, I just thought I'd make a video on it. So the truth about fake makeup. Real quick, pause the screen and tell me which Tartlet and Bloom palette you think is the real Tarte palette before I open it up and you can see the difference right off the bat. Okay, now that you see the inside, I think it's quite obvious that the right side is the actual Tartlet and Bloom palette and the left side is the fake. A few years back, I purchased off of AliExpress what I thought was a palette with similar color story to Tarte and I thought it was by a brand and I can't remember what the brand's name was, but they had put literally another brand's name over the top. When I received the palette, however, I recognized right away that it was in fact a fake makeup product. So it was supposed to look like Tarte. And, um, but if you look, you can tell it is not at all very close. And today I just thought we'd kind of go over the similarities and the differences. And, um, I mean, I know most of you probably already know about the dangers of fake makeup and buying fake makeup online, but just to be aware of, you know, the, that those potential things can happen. And it's happening more than ever before, um, because now you can get a hold of makeup on Amazon. And if you're not paying attention, that makeup, if it's not coming from a sponsored seller, uh, could be fake makeup, in fact. So, anyways. I thought we'd kind of make a video out of it. <clears throat> Here's the fake one. Looks like it even has a batch code. Um, similar to the real Tartlet and Bloom. On the back, however, you can see me. But you can also see that the sticker is quite a bit yellow, or more pink than purple. The shade of gold is different. This has got a luxe feeling to it, whereas this is very, very like lightweight. This you can tell is like a printed, you know, like a copy of a print, so the colors are not as vibrant. And um, yeah, you can just tell. So when you open it up, I'm not going to swatch any of these. These are they smell awful by the way but i did i did come across the idea of you know what am i going to do with this palette i've had it for a really long time i don't i don't know so i thought maybe i could show you guys what i am going to do with mine and i decided to take this little thing out right here i'm just going to take this and throw it away because this is actually like, I mean, the problem with fake makeup is that they put the ingredient list that's in this right here, this product, but that's not necessarily what's actually contained in this. A lot of times there is a lot of really harsh chemicals that aren't good for you. They, they also make these in kind of like fly by the seat of your pants labs, which a lot of times have like infestations of pests and so there's a lot of like feces that goes into these products there because there's no quality control they're literally just making this and selling it you know to make that quick buck so <clears throat> what's really dangerous is that this right here has the ingredient list printed for this this product but yet that's not what's found in here so I'm gonna go ahead and throw it this way and then I thought I would just go ahead and like cut out a magnetic empty sheet and just repurpose this um, because at this point there's really not much else you can do. Looks like they got the mirror pretty close to spot on. Here, I'll go ahead and take this off. Looks like they got it pretty close to spot on. Hi. <laughs> um, but other than that, I don't know. 
Um, I probably am going to go ahead and sanitize it. This is years old. I've had it. I didn't know what I was going to do. I thought, you know, oh, I'd like to make a video on it. But there's been so many videos made on this stuff already. That it's kind of like, whoa, what for? <laughs> you know, um, but th it never hurts to reiterate, you know, the the fast fashion of makeup really sometimes can get a hold of us. And sometimes, you know, you can, you do have to be careful, especially now with um, secondhand sites like Poshmark, Mercari, um, and things of that nature, you know, selling what seems to be their old palettes, you know, you be weary if you see somebody with brand new inbox, never been used or swatched, you kind of have to ask yourself, well, then why did you buy this? Um, what's the purpose? Like, why would you be selling something? You didn't even swatch it. So how do you know if you like it or not? You know, just little things like that, you know, be mindful because that definitely would send some, you know, red flags my way almost immediately. I thought I would also go ahead and take out this one. Cause I think you can, I think you can just take it right out. Like it's, it is also a tray that sits right in there. So, I don't remember how I took this one out. Or I know it's easier, that's for sure. Because of the fact that um, it's substantially cheaper. But, you know. And this one doesn't look like it's too far from it either. Oh, also, I think I wanted to show you guys that the pans are not magnetic in this one, but they are in magnetic in this one. However, they don't come out like in the tart toasted. Here it is. Sorry, I just bumped the light that goes with it. But this is not, these aren't magnetic at all. Also, let me just go ahead and show you the actual tart logo is not similar at all. Now, granted, if you ordered this and you don't have anything like this, you would have nothing to compare it to. So that's why I'm showing these comparisons because, you know, oh, this thing stinks awful. Even after like, I don't know, this thing must be like five years old and it stinks like really bad. I don't know, like somebody mixed bleach with ammonia or something. Just very, very pungent, strong chemical smell. I did want to kind of get this out, but now I'm thinking maybe not such a good idea. I don't know. It's pretty, it's pretty um, stout in here. Leave a comment down below if you've ever taken one of these out of one of your palettes. Oh my gosh. And I don't even know, like, what's the purpose of it? <laughs> like, where, where do I come from? Where do I go? I'm going to get one of those carving knives or whatever art knives oh yeah this one's definitely hard like the other one it was so easy of course I did not care if I broke it either so that was the other thing I didn't care if it broke because I wasn't after saving any of the shadows like I am this one Ooh. now here is some like conspiracy theory thoughts So there's little like, do you see those? That's what's in there. So now I've got to get this out from this side. And then we'll be uh, off scot-free. So I'm just going to wedge it and pop it out. Boy, watch me just like ruin this thing completely. The other one was way easier, I will say that. Oh, there she goes. Oh, yes. It's the sound of victory. Okay. Oh, wow. Ooh, so this is interesting. They have an overspray. So something was over this and they oversprayed it. That's interesting. Let's go ahead and look at the bottom of this one now. Completely different type of component. Do you see that? Like the mold isn't the same at all. There's some right there, there's some right there. This is definitely like an overspray, so they make sure that they spray in completely. And then also, let's go ahead and look at this. 
compared to this. Look at that. That's really interesting how that was like sprayed over the way it was. And this wasn't. This is definitely like shortcut city and this is and this is a lot heavier but I will say it's probably due to the oh my goodness all right Bessie we get it you like it see like can you can tell this is magnetic oh hang on no it's not magnetic oh it's because I'm feeling this underneath it yeah, there's, there's nothing. It's not stuck at all. So these are probably aluminum pans. This is, you know, a stainless steel, which is going to be heavier and it's going to be a um, better quality. So what would it take to pop one of these bad boys out? I mean, like, kind of thinking maybe, I don't know, would you want to be able to, like, put these shadows? Would, would I want to keep this for any reason? I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below if I should keep these. I just want to take it apart just to see kind of like what we've got here, what we're dealing with. Again, um, I probably do need to kind of keep this stuff, you know, separated. Definitely don't want to get any. Yeah, this is definitely. Look at that. Oh, boy. This is definitely uh, aluminum because, it, I mean, it just crumbles. The pan just literally crumbles at the sight of a stainless steel tool <laughs> um yeah that's but i mean the pan would be salvageable i don't know what for like what would i keep it for i don't even know i have pans already um but there you have it that one came out pretty easily Ooh, my finger went in it i guess now we can just go ahead and swatch it i'll just remove it so that's that's <laughs> the fake rocker shade um, by the way, it doesn't look anything like the real one. So, okay, I think I'm going to go ahead and trash it. Uh, I don't see any reason to keep it. So, but there you have it. I thought I would just, I don't know, do a, uh, a little, do a little ditty with this, you know, just kind of see what this fake makeup is all about. Oh, actually it doesn't go in that one. It goes in this one. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and put in a magnetic sheet. So there you have it. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you're finding value in this content, as always, feel free to subscribe down below. It is free. On TikTok, I know that they charge for subscriptions here on YouTube. We don't charge for subscriptions. So make sure you subscribe to the channels. No cost to you. And like the video on your way out. Let's me know that you want to see more content like this in the future. Can't wait to see you guys in my next video. Bye.